your school or academy decides to introduce new uh, graphics software on all the computers name two direct and two indirect costs. Pause the video and answer the question. So direct costs are things you've got to buy and indirect costs are things you've got to buy whilst maintaining the computers. So the cost of the software licenses for the graphics software is going to be a direct cost and the cost of somebody to install it, so technicians to install it. Once it's on there, you've got to maintain it, so these are your indirect costs. Um, cost of any upgrades, any technical support, antivirus, um, putting on the computer are good examples of indirect costs. Explain why using formal language in a job application of cover letter is necessary. Pause the video, answer the question. Two marks here. Answers are to make uh, it look professional, to make sure that you look serious about the job. Twenty-three. You're going to build a website and you've got some smart targets, so specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and um, time limited on a website. Pause the video, answer the question. So you could say something along the lines of you're going to set a specific target for your website. You can have, say, five pages linked together. Measurable, maybe each page is going to load within one minute on an average internet connection. Attainable, so maybe you're going to use some open source software such as Wix.com so that your website is attainable, achievable. Relevant, so maybe you're going to do some market research before you start your um, building your website and maybe get some feedback from your target audience. And time limited, maybe you're going to do it over a period of three weeks, let's say, so you've got a deadline in place. 24. The following table shows smartphone and tablet operating systems market share. So Android seems to be leading the way by a long way, then iOS, which is for Apple computers, and then others um, less so. Explain why Android is so much more popular than other browsers, and why there's such a big gap between iOS and the next operating system on mobile phones and tablets. Four marks. Tricky question, this. Pause the video and try and answer the question. First thing is that Android is open source software, so it's written by a community of users such as you and I. And um, so with it being open source, it's very, very popular and it's free. Um, somebody like um, iOS is uh, run by a dominant company called Apple. So that's going to be quite popular because it's got their marketing. Apple, Apple brand behind it. Um, Windows uh, is available on phones, but there aren't that many apps for it, so it entered the, 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 the market quite late. Um, and so users have got used to things like Android and iOS, um, and so it's fairly late onto the market. Um, BlackBerry is probably one you've never ever heard of. It was promoted for business users, um, but it's sort of lost its way a little bit because it just promoted business users and nothing else. Question number 25. In-app purchases. So these are things where you'll, you'll load an app and then every so often it will offer you extra uh, facilities within that app, but you, then you've got to pay for it. Do you think that app should feature or not? Pause the video, answer the question. There's no right or wrong answer here. Two marks. So if you become keen on, on a game or an app, um, you might be tempted to pay for special items to reach extra levels. So that could be costly. So that's a disadvantage. Um, no limits to how much you can spend quite often in these apps. So young people um, will run up massive bills. Um, I think it's probably easier to answer this question in, in, in a way to say it's harmful rather than not harmful. 
Recently, the Russian government has been accused of backing cyber attacks against the USA. As the IT technology improves, the threats to safety and security are on the increase. Explain in detail what threats and security have risen with the rise of the evolution of IT technology and how governments can prevent them. Very difficult exam, this one. It's harder than the other two. Uh, five marks. Let's see what the answers are. Pause the video and answer the question if you want to have a go before. Spoilers. Hacking of systems can lead to confidential data and put public and armed force at risk. Influences of political elections. So we were talking about the Russians influence in the US uh, presidential election elections by leaking information about uh, political opponents. Whether that's true or not, um, we don't know. Exploiting things like uh, viruses, malware is another word for a virus, uh, and phishing activities where the, there'll be spoof websites trying to get you to reveal um, private information. How, how governments can stop it, adding in a regular antivirus uh, and spyware allows us to prevent hacking. Late, later security features such as eye recognition and fingerprint scanning, eye recognition just come out for the latest mobile phones. Uh, regular training of staff on latest security threats. That's always a big one, uh, making sure you, your staff um, have had uh, the required training. Use of complex passwords, so we've talked about complex passwords. Um, eight characters or more with numbers and letters, uh, lowercase and uppercase, and special characters such as exclamation marks and uh, hashtags, etc. And then one mark for uh, threats prevention, encryption. So encryption is where um, then the data will be, be scrambled and the proper word is 128 bit encryption is the hardest, is the best kind of scrambling uh, method to encrypt software. Your school is working on a project with another school in India. As part of the project, you want to share information frequently, communicate with students in another country. Three IT technologies that make this collaboration possible. Pause the video, answer the question. Okay, cloud technology is the obvious one where you'll have um, information um, stored on a remote server somewhere in the world and more than one person can work on the thing, something at once so they can update the same document using a browser such as Google Docs uh, and uh, work on the same document at the same time. Um, open source software, so if there's two countries that use open source software it's not going to cause, cause many uh, non-compatibility issues. Uh, using strong passwords not sharing any confidential information on public forums is another way of making sure it's safe. Google Translate's a nice one. Uh, so if um, if the two schools don't um, don't share the same language, um, then Google Translate can translate information uh, so they understand what each other's saying or writing. Presentation software, open source, open source cloud-based presentation software is an efficient way of creating a presentation to a large international audience. Do you agree with this statement? Three marks. Again, a difficult question this. Pause the video, answer the question if you can. So again, if you see the word open source cloud-based software, open source or cloud-based, you can say it's free. And can be accessed by anyone in the world as long as they've got uh, an internet connection. Um, presented anywhere in the world by using a USB stick so you can store uh, open source cloud-based software onto a USB stick and just run it from any computer in the world uh, as long as there's an internet access. 29. Explain what use of software under an open source license you're allowed to do with it and under what conditions. 
Pause the video, answer the question. So what can you do if you've got open source software? Answers are you can view and modify its source code. So you can mod it in any way that you want to. You can customize it and improve it if you find that there's issues with it. If it's not running properly, they're called bugs. So you can improve the software and modify it. Um, and usually uh, then there's no problems as long as you're not um, trying to make any money out of it. So if you're not going to gain any money uh, out of open source software, then, then there's usually not an issue in any way. So improve the software. Um, if bugs are found, or view or modify the software in some way uh, and that's, that's certainly acceptable with open source software open source licenses if you're not planning on making any money out of it so if it's for non-commercial redistribution